Hello everyone, I am Arpit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. Now today I am going to tell you how you can send WhatsApp messages on Motic form submissions. Now Motic is an automation marketing platform and you all know about WhatsApp. Now what will happen whenever there will be a new form submission in Motic, uh, an automatic WhatsApp will be sent to the person's WhatsApp number and why would you need this automation? Suppose somebody has been subscribing through Motic form or somebody has been filling out Motic form for something. So what you can do is you can send a thank you message on their WhatsApp number that thank you for taking our survey or thank you for applying for our product or thank you for having our services. And you can not only do this with Motic form, you can do it with Google form, you can do it with Elementor form, you can do it with Pabli form builder. You can do it with any form building application online. Now to do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation service Pabli Connect, which will help us connect Motic and WhatsApp together. Now if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen. So what do we have to do? We just have to go to the address bar and type in P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com slash connect and as soon as we will do that, we will be redirected to this beautiful web page and here we have two options. Either you can sign in or you can sign up. Now signing uh, signing in is very easy. If you already have an account, you can just go for sign in. Signing up is uh, absolutely free. So if you do not have an account, you have to go and sign up. Signing up will also give you 100 free tasks every month from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here. So I already have an account here. So I'll just go for sign in. And after clicking on sign in, I will just go for login. And now you can see these are my software. So here I'm just going to go for Pabli connect access now. And here what I'm going to do, you can see I have a new uh, dashboard here where I have so many automations already made. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a new workflow by clicking on this button, create workflow. So let's just give it a name and the name will be Motic to WhatsApp because I am connecting my Motic to my WhatsApp account. So we are just going to create and you can name it whatever you want to. It's up to you. Now what I'm going to do, you can see here we have two windows. First one is trigger and second one is action. Now trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process and action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So here <coughs> what we are going to do in trigger we are going to take Motic. Okay. Now what we are going to do here what is happening here we are having a new form entry because we are uh, because somebody is filling up the form. So we are going to select new form. Now here you can see <coughs> we have a new webhook URL. Now, what is this webhook URL? So webhook URL is the URL which will help us connect our Pebbly Connect account to our Motic account. Now, how we are going to do that? You can see here it is written open the right hand side menu, click the COG icon in the top right corner and select webhooks. Create a new webhook, fill in the name above webhook URL and select form submit event to trigger this webhook. So we are just going to follow this. Open the right hand side menu. So let's just go to Motic. Here I have my Motic. Now here, we have to go here into account and here and here we are just going to go for settings and then we will click on webhooks. Now here you can see it is written webhook URL and here we have this contact form, delete contact, Pabli, these are all the webhooks. So let me just, uh, uh, you know, deselect this, unselect this uh, webhook URL and let me just create a new one. So here I'm just going to give it the name Motic to WhatsApp. Okay. Now here webhook description, if you want to give it, it's up to you. If you do not want to give it, it's up to you. What we are going to do, we are going to go to Pebbly Connect, copy this webhook URL and paste it here in webhook post URL. And here what we are going to do, it is clearly written here that you have to select form submit event. So we are going to select form submit event and this is the form submit event. Then we are going to you know, if you want to give any category, you can give category. I'm just going to click on yes and apply. So you can see a new uh, webhook has been created here. So let's just go to settings again, webhook. And you can see a new webhook is active here, Motec to WhatsApp. Now what I'm going to do, I have this contact page here and I have already created this contact page. So let me just refresh this page. And here what we are going to do, we are going to fill in these information. So whenever we are, we are going to fill in these fields here, what will happen? The response 
will go to our Pebbly Connect account. Like you can see here, it is already showing waiting for webhook response. What we are going to do? We are going to fill in our contact page. So let me just fill in our contact page. Arpit. Last name is Sharma. Email is Arpit Sharma at the rate gmail.com okay and here the person will put his mobile number on which he has his whatsapp activated okay so if uh, you know if you want him to uh, what should I say if you want him to put his mobile number on which he has his whatsapp you can just give a description in your form at uh, up uh, right side in the right side of contact form you can just put a bracket and there you can uh, write that please give your number on which you have your whatsapp activated in the form okay so by reading that the person will only give that number on which he has his whatsapp activated so here what i am going to do i am just going to put plus nine one because plus nine one is the code for india here so i am going to put this one and now i am going to put the number of my WhatsApp eight two six nine three six six nine one three okay eight two six nine three six six nine one three submit it and as soon as you will submit it you will see that there is a webhook response in your Pebbly Connect account and you can see this is the webhook response here let me just go here this is the first name this is the last name this is Arpit Sharma at the rate gmail.com and this is his number. Okay. So the person who is filling our form has, uh, you know, has been captured by our Pebbly Connect as a webhook response and here the details are present. Now what we are going to do, we are going to go for our second step. So our first step of connecting our Pebbly Connect account to our Motic is completed. Now we are going to go for our next application and our next action step. So I am just going to click here and I am going to select WhatsApp by 360 dialogue. And now what I am going to do action event, I am going to select send template message. Now I am going to tell you what this template message is. And I'm going to explain you everything about this WhatsApp by 360 dialogue. Okay, let me just click on connect. So what we are going to do, we are going to go for add new connection. Then here what you have to do here, you have to paste the domain. So this is your domain, you can just copy it directly and paste it here. Okay. And now API key. So from where you are going to get this API key, you will go into your 360 dialog. Here you will go for WhatsApp accounts. After going to WhatsApp accounts, here you will have an option to go for the API key and it is still loading. So let's just wait for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now here you can see I have this option for generate API key. So you can just click on this option and generate a new API key and then copy that API key here in Pebbly Connect account. Now I already have connected my account. So I'm not just going to regenerate again my API key. So I'm just going to select my existing connection. And here you can see this is the final WhatsApp connection. Okay, so I'm just going to save this connection. And now let me tell you what is this send template message. Here you can see in WhatsApp account, here is you can see an option for manage templates. So when you will go for manage templates, you have to create these kind of templates if you want to send uh, bulk SMS to sorry, not uh, SMS bulk message from your WhatsApp to different people. So for that you have to create these kind of templates. Let me just give you an example by showing this one. So for this, you have to create different kinds of template and you can create these kind of templates, which I'm going to show you. It's taking some time. So here you can see, uh, this is one of my templates. Hi, then uh, body field one, and I can put whatever I want to put here. A quick message from uh, body field two to say your appointment on body field three at body field four has been successfully booked. If you need to reschedule, please call this, 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 see you soon. So this is the kind of template that you are going to make if you want to uh, send messages through your WhatsApp and first you will send this to what uh, Facebook and from Facebook you have to get it authenticated. Once 
Facebook will authorize your template. After that, you can use that template to send messages through your WhatsApp. Now, this authorization can take, uh, you know, five hours. It can also take one day. It can also take two days. So you do not have to panic. If your template is correct, you can just go and uh, apply so that Facebook can authenticate it. And also, if uh, you are, uh, you know, if, if you have made the template in a correct form, Facebook will, uh, you know, Facebook will authenticate in it in few minutes only, or I should say few hours only, and you'll be able to use that template very easily in your WhatsApp. Now, how you are going to add a new template? So you can go to add template. And here you can create a new template by giving it the name by using these fields here. And if you want to use image, you can use media and interactive option also. So this is the way you are going to make your template. Okay. Now let me just go back to my Pebbly connect and here, let me just uh, click on save. Now you can see, I have this uh, template here, a zoom underscore meeting underscore reminder underscore button. But what I want, I want to take the template, which I have created especially for this workflow here for my Motic form. So what I'm going to do, I am going to select the template, which I have created for this one, which is form underscore discord en. Okay. So this is an old template, which I am using for this as well, because, you know, it takes time to make it authenticate from Facebook. Now I'm going to show this template to you form underscore discord en. So let's just click here form underscore discord. So this is the, this is the form and here you can see it is written hi and uh, body field one where uh, my name will come Arpit Sharma. Thank you for filling up this form. Welcome to, and this is the name of the company, which I am going to put in. We are so lucky to have you. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with questions. We would love to hear best regards and here, uh, the company name. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go here. I'm not going to mess up with this namespace field. Language code is English recipient mobile number. Now here I am going to use a technique which is called mapping and mapping will let me take the data here from this window and it will let me put the data here in this window. So here in uh, mobile number, we are going to map in this number. And here you can see it is written. You have to put in plus nine one nine eight nine nine zero one zero two. Uh, something, something, but let me tell you this plus nine one is the country code for my country. So you have to use plus and after that, the country code for the country in which you are sending the message plus uh, the mobile number with that country code. Okay. So here you can see it is plus nine one eight two six nine three double six nine one three body field one. So here I'm going to map in my name. Arpit space Sharma. Okay. And body field two. here, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to put the, uh, put the required field, which is my company name, which is Pebbly connect. Okay. So here I have two fields. The first one is for the name and second one is for the company. Now what we are going to do as soon as I will click on save and send test request, an automatic message will be sent to my WhatsApp number. Now let me first show you my WhatsApp really quick. And here you can see I do not have any chats or I do not have any message. I have two archive chats, but that is not from the same number. Now what we are going to do, we are going to just click on save and send a test request. And as soon as I will do that, you will see a response will come here. And this is the response meta API status table, which means the message has been sent to our WhatsApp. And now we are going to go back and check it. So this is our WhatsApp and here you can see I have received a new message. Hi Arpit Sharma. Thank you for filling up the form. Welcome to Pabli Connect. We are so lucky to have you. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with questions. We would love to hear from you. Best regards, Pabli Connect. So friends, this is how you can connect your Motic to your WhatsApp so that whenever there is a new entry in your Motic form, an automatic message will be sent to that person's WhatsApp number. 
फ्रॉम योर साइड अबाउट एनी थिंग लाइक आई टोल्ड हिम अबाउट माई कंपनी दैट थैंक यू फॉर चूजिंग अस यू कैन टाइप इन द मैसेज विच एवर यू वॉन्ट टू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू एंड यू कैन सेंड इट टू दैट पर्सन ओके सो इट्स अ वेरी 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 ईजी एंड अ वेरी 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 यूजफुल ऑटोमेशन यू कैन यूज इट एंड यू कैन नॉट ओनली यूज इट विद मॉटिक यू कैन यूज इट विद एनी फॉर्म यू कैन यूज इट विद गूगल फॉर्म यू कैन यूज इट विद टाइप फॉर्म यू कैन यूज इट विद एलिमेंट और फॉर्म यू कैन यूज इट विद एनी फॉर्म विद विच एवर फॉर्म यू वॉन्ट टू यूज इट विद ओके now if you want to clone this workflow you can just go to my description box and clone this beautiful workflow but for that you need to have an account on public connect and to make an account you need to go and sign up signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here okay so what are you waiting for go and sign up now hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video i hope you understood everything now if you want any other events to edit in our module what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com if you have any queries regarding this software you can just ask your queries at this website at this link and if you want to check the prices you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software now i just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you